And me and Vernon have stumbled in to the toastiest, warmest, lovely dressing room. And who have we found, Vernon? It's only the script! Woo! Yes! Yes! Oh, Massive. yes. Rap, rap, rap. Rap, rap. Best buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, it's here, boy. It's nice in here, isn't it? Yeah, we know how to do a festival style. Yeah, you know? who did you have chat up get such an... And you've got a yucca plant. It's the, and... Irish, it's the Irish accents, I believe. We moved yeah. our way next yeah. to Lady Gaga because we're going to infiltrate for a cup of tea in a while. Well, and also you'll be able to get a bit of lunch and meat because she's probably making a frock out of it. So <laughs> if you get a package... <laughs> Barbecue address, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you seen the Gaga knocking about? No, no, I haven't at all. Yeah, I've seen our, our five buses outside, though. That's Jeez. a nice little abbreviation, the Gaga. I like it. That's <laughs> very that's yeah. nice. She's here because we had a sound check in before, so she might be on a bus now, like, I don't know. Like, she got a sound check. We don't get a sound check. She's We're doing it. We're doing that's because you don't need one, boys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Plug it in and play. Let's just go on there and just go for it. That's what you've got to do. Rock and roll style, festival style. No hanging around. Now exactly. then, yesterday, Arctic Monkeys, what did they play? I don't want to miss a thing. Yeah, they started off with a little bit of Aerosmith. Yeah. yeah. They're anyway, like it, was just quite, play, play it was quite that. amusing because it lulled the audience into a really weird false sense of insecurity yeah. because they, yeah. they didn't really know what they were getting. They was kind of, hang on a minute, this is Aerosmith. Rumour has it that we're about to see the Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit weird because I've got all Steve Tyler. And then they started to raise their hands up, like, really slowly and start waving to the they music. They were all singing along, weren't they? Yeah, and then yeah. Alex yeah. came on and he was like... Aero Monkeys. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, and Alex came on and he's like... Hello, Carlisle, you're all right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it was a, I mean, are you nice. tempted to start off with like a bit of a curveball at the start of your uh, road? Now I am. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> a bit of Chakademus and Pliers or something. I'm not sure you can beat that. That was a good one. That's uh, a very good Aerosmith one. Aerosmith was a good one. Because I hate that song too. <laughs> <laughs> they must it's, hate it. As apparently, well. it's the most popular first dance at a wedding now, that song. Yes, yeah. 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 Top break even watching. should be with a script. Yeah, yeah. Although that's, that's, a, that's not a love song, that's a breakup song. You know? That's what I'm saying. We're playing out at a wedding, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Like Low on the Rocks. That's a nice claim. It's fair, though, that your song is uh, Breaks people makes up. people break yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's not too grim, is it? Soundtrack to heartbreak. Yeah. Are you looking for? So listen, when we do big weekends, we always hear it radio, and we always have a real feeling that it's uh, <laughs> despite the rain patting on the top of this roof, mm -hmm. it always feels like kind of the start of summer. You I mean are you, are you getting ready for the festival season? How are you preparing? Um, I don't know, just get out there and do it, really. You know, you can't really prepare for it. I mean, even down to not having a sound check. But that's part of the buzz of festival season, is getting out in the field, be it sunny or muddy, and just having a great time. So, yeah, this, it really does feel like, because this is the first uh, festival for us as well, so it's really going to kick off from, uh, from here to the end of summer. And you, you guys, sorry to talk, you guys have done really well in America as well. Yeah, you know? it's kicking really off good. over there at the moment. Uh, we, we go there in the morning, actually, to uh, do a four-week uh, tour as well. We just come off one as well over there, so it's it's all doing really well, fingers crossed. A lot of promo in America, because, uh, I mean, over here in the UK, obviously, we only have one radio station, and that's BBC <laughs> yeah, Radio yeah, 1. The one. Whereas in America, it's like, welcome to 94.5 to the KD, Arkansas, or whatever. Yeah, so. amazing. It's it's every every single state has a, a, a ton of radio stations that you've got to go do, you know, and it's all acoustic, it's all... You've got to go on the acoustic tour. In the past two years, We've been there um, 22 times, yeah. so we're prepared to put the work in over there as well. But it's a, it's a hard thing to do, kind of balance the UK and uh, and America. But we're 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 very very lucky that uh, you know even for the first time right now, looking like it's going to go top 10 in pop, and it's already number three on the AC chart over there. So we're 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 rocking and rolling, yeah. I, I, Congratulations, I, uh, that's massive. Yeah, I did a, a TV show for NBC five years ago, right? And and for promo, I did 135 radio interviews <laughs> in one morning. We call it Promageddon. Yeah, Armageddon. That's yeah. Promageddon, yeah. That's Promageddon yeah. right there. Unreal. Yeah. And you have to you have to keep your energy levels high oh. and, and you say the same thing in every one and it's yeah. just like Yeah 133 yeah. And you have to have been Irish you and nobody can understand awesome. us, we have to slow down when yeah, we talk. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yes. so are they loving the oh, Irish yeah. thing and they're like, You're from Ireland. I don't know if they know we're from yeah. Ireland because we have to change our accents over there because they can't understand a word we're saying, you know. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of our interviews are uh, tend to be subtitled. This will probably be subtitled too. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we needed for West yesterday when you were chatting to him so yeah. listen what time are you on stage uh, 5, 30, 5 30 yeah till um, till 5 uh, 5 past 6 but if we can go a little bit later it'd be great are you the kind of guys who uh, when you get to a, a big festival like this when you get to a big venue do you, do you go and check out do you chat to other bands do you do you kind of mingle or are you kind of quite quiet and maybe just um, have a kip or... we try to have a beer with as many people as we can really we try to be as social as possible we're normally chance, the ones yeah. at the bar so we tend to meet any other cool bands want to have a beer so it's normally nice you know it's, it'd be nice to have a kickabout and stuff normally when it's a bit summery. Not in this yeah. way, yeah. 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 
Didn't bring me shorts and my boots. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what's funny, is we, we keep banging on about the weather and how it's raining and how the side's getting a little bit muddy, but still, slaves to fashion never, ever cease to amaze me. There's several hundred girls out there in oh, yeah. denim jean cut-offs. <laughs> it's like, do, do you not realise how cold it is? We're at the top of a hill. It's freezing. The legs look like they're carved from corned beef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Purple yeah. colour. You've got all the strings around yeah. 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 Oh, Like oh, a plucked oh. chicken. Oh, what? Yeah. It's cracking. Yeah, all dimply and ready to go. So, right. painting like a rock star pitch, what happens between now and your stage time, then? Uh, do you, will you have a... Do you, oh, teach us how to warm up our vocal cords. Well, do you do all know, that? Me, me, me. Oh, there. there's a bottle of vodka and some cranberry. Right? So <laughs> That's it. So, of course, that means you'll be drinking responsibly. Yeah, we, we drink responsibly, as in keep it in glasses just before we go on stage. <laughs> don't, That's don't usually what we do. Because you share the germs, you know, you and, have to uh, put it in the cup. We try and invite as many bands around for a little social drink and before we head on stage and do that sort of thing. But that's usually it. We do a bit of promo during the day, warm up before we go on. How do you warm up, Danny? Teach us a trick. How can me uh, and Vernon? Because Vernon last night was on the outdoor stage making everybody do that. Rudy, I'm shuffling. And he was screaming down the mic. Yeah, and his my, my voice, voice is, is so My voice is broke. So how can Horrible. he, for the next shuffle, how can he warm up his voice? He gargles salt water. Really? Yeah, it's yeah. basically a thing called a nasal shower. So you get a little bit of lukewarm water, put some uh, salt in it, Mix it around and then up right up the nostril. Oh. I'm not joking. Yeah, it's a, it's it'll cut your colds down by 50 percent and it'll, uh, it'll it'll it's a, like a natural antiseptic. Wow. Yeah, yeah there you go. You learn something new every day. As well, yeah. Do a bit you, of that. Your water very you just quick. Just snort the salt on its own. Yeah, no. I'd just be worried, like, with journalists backstage, like, spotted. It's salt! <laughs> it's salt! It's salt! Ah! Yeah. Ah! Put it on your chips, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Prove it. Um, all right, the guys. Like Studio always... 55. <laughs> 54, whatever it was. No, we're more hardcore. Studio 55 yeah. and a half. Um, guys, listen, uh, enjoy it. You know, they're going to go bananas for you later. They're a brilliant crowd here. And they'll be pleased to be out the rain as well. Oh, no, they yeah. put in a tent. Yeah. Nice yeah. one. And remember... We're in Carlisle. Don't oh. do a will I am. Hello, London. Uh, yeah. yeah, have you done that, by the way? Have you ever gone on I've, and said the wrong place? I have before, yeah. I was in Liverpool and I said uh, Manchester. Oh, oh, of all the places! I have. I, have. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. was, I was very young and impressionable. I have never, ever since that day uh, done that ever again. It was like the wild never again. You have to respect the crowd. Through the room. We you were have like... to respect What the did the crowd do? Uh, it took me, yeah, they booed. <laughs> it basically took me about three or four songs <laughs> to even rein in. It was our own show as well, thank God. But uh, it took me about three or four songs to rein the crowd back in. I was so, yeah, I was well. so sorry for that. He still, still is sorry. He's like, I just want to yeah. apologise. You can tell the, ner the nervous really tension is. that he's got. He's yeah. like, I can't believe I said but it. You know what? I'm like, I'm like, honestly, I'm, um, I'll read anything you put on the teleprompter. I am totally anchor. Like Ron so, Burgundy. So now you're saying it. Now you're saying it. I'll probably walk out and go, London. You know? No, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I, would, I never. BBC Radio One's Big Weekend.